my name is Jill Barry Bowen, CEO of Northwestern Medical Center and your host of the NMC Health Beat Show, dedicated to discussing important healthcare topics of interest to our community. Today, we're going to be talking about construction on the campus. We're focusing on the new two-story structure we're calling the Medical Office Building. And I'm joined today by Chief Nursing Officer Jane Catton and also Amy Putnam, who is our Vice President of Physician Services. So welcome to the show. Good morning, Good morning Jill. Jill. It's wonderful to have you here because we hear Tyson Moulton all the time. I'm sure the community gets to know him really well. We've been talking about the campus and the construction. So it's great to have the two of you here to talk about more about what's happening inside those buildings. So, so the medical office building, so just to orient everybody, that's that big two-story structure that's attached to the hospital, but sort of onto the side closest to the Crest Road. Sometimes we call it MOB, mm -hmm. uh, but we're referred mm -hmm. to it to medical office building. So uh, first and foremost, uh, I know Amy, this is the first time on the show. Yes, it But is. just even for Jane, just to orient um, our viewers of who you are and a little bit about yourself before we jump into the medical office building. Sure, thank you, Jill. Um, so I have been with Northwestern Medical Center for just over a year now, but not new to the community. I'm born and raised here in Franklin County, and I've spent the last uh, close to 15 years of my career at Northwestern Counseling and Support Services as their CFO and COO. Mm -hmm. um, so very happy to be here at the hospital. Um, my role is to oversee all of the outpatient practices uh, for the organization. So that spans from you know, urology, cardiology, OBGYN, pediatrics, et cetera. Wonderful. Well, we're grateful that you're, you're on our team. You've been a wonderful addition. So. Thank you. And you got you were jumping right into this project. <laughs> <laughs> it was good timing. Good yeah, it timing. Is. It's it very, is. very exciting. And Jane, I know the community knows you well, but just a little bit, just in case if just somebody out there case. doesn't know you. Yeah, thank you. Well, my uh, my name is Jane Catton, obviously. Uh, you've introduced me. I'm the Chief Nursing Officer, but I also hold the title of Chief Operating Officer, which means I have responsibility for all of the clinical programs uh, across our hospital services, and I I work very closely with Amy on the outpatient practices as we look at our services and our clinicians and the things mm -hmm. that they do every day. I also work with Tyson Moulton, so he, <laughs> he actually reports to me as we develop this master facility plan. So um, I have a very exciting job and I, I get to work with a lot of people as these programs are advancing at the hospital. Yes, with your title, you really influence all of the aspects of the hospital and how it all fits together. So I think exactly. that's a exactly. great position, which I'm grateful for. Thank I you. Appreciate that. Okay, so what's going in this two-story structure that's there? Who wants to start that conversation? Well, oh, oh go ahead. Jane. Go ahead Jane. <laughs> We're having We're a great excited. time with this. We're so excited. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me begin, and then Amy will get into the details. I'm sure. Um, our medical office building, the two-story structure, will have uh, our outpatient clinics at the front of the um, organization. So included in that will be urgent care primary care and our Northwestern orthopedics. So very easy access for our patients to get to their office space visits and see our providers. And Amy's doing a wonderful job thinking about how to integrate and make things mm. really efficient and easy for our patients as they are coming to see us. Great. We have a great theme for the building, and that Ooh, is standardiz standardization <laughs> and consistency across our clinics. And as Jane referenced, um, integration is really what's driving our new workflows. Things have to be very fluid throughout the building. Uh, there has to be a seamless entryway for our patients, and they have to feel as if um, their services are efficient and, and high quality, and they're receiving the very, very top care in our community. So when you walk into this, you, there's an entrance into this particular area, so you can go into that, and, and how will it feel different? Because right now, 
uh, well, maybe you should tell me, where are these located now? So why isn't there standardization and integration now? So, sure, so sure. Where That's are a they? great question. <laughs> They're all separate independent practices that operate um, very much in silos. And what this uh, building will bring to our community is, again, that integration of primary care, urgent care, laboratory services, as well as orthopedics. Um, what they'll see as you come in the yeah, building yeah, is our is patient access and what we've done over the last couple of months is we have started a pre-registration process at the hospital which means that you will get a phone call before your visit and you can get all of those administrative things done so that when you come to your visit you're prepared to see your provider. So you will be greeted by our patient access team. They will greet you, they will um, arrive you, and you can go directly to your clinic for your service. And then at the clinic, you'll be directly um, greeted by your clinical staff. So your, your visit can start then, and you won't be burdened by a lot of those things that um, you have to do when you arrive. So Amy also brought up a, a great point about our outpatient lab, mm -hmm. yeah, which yeah. will be mm -hmm. um, also embedded in our new uh, medical office building. So patients who may not have a doctor's visit, but may need to have regular or routine lab work done, can come to the, to the space and uh, be seen by someone in our outpatient lab facility, have their lab, lab work drawn, and then we'll be able to disseminate that information. Perhaps they have a, a an appointment in primary care, so mm -hmm. it will be adjacent and very easily accessible. So we'll use uh, some technology, obviously, mm -hmm. to share information too, so that it is uh, done easily and quickly for our patients. So is there a chance, like if you came into like urgent care and you had a sprained ankle and that clinician thought that maybe an orthopedic professional mm -hmm. should see, mm -hmm. is that is that what you're working towards for Synergy? And can mm -hmm. I get my x-ray right there? I mean. Uh, how does this all flow? Yes, absolutely. It's the right care at the right time. So if you do present with a particular uh, symptom that we have an open access uh, scheduling policy. So if something is available within orthopedics and you have the right provider, that we're able to get you right in at that time. Um, again, it's a, it's a process that we're working towards, um, but we're very, very confident that we're going to be able to offer that right care at the right time. And within our orthopedic mm -hmm. practice, we do have x-ray capabilities. Mm -hmm. okay. So we'll embed x-ray uh, adjacent to orthopedics, but also right next door to uh, primary care, urgent care. So if anyone needs those services, they'll have them right at hand. Yeah, that's terrific. I, I love the idea of the care coming right to the patient. So it sounds like it's pretty inclusive to what someone might need for those particular um, disciplines. Exactly. Those areas. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's, that's terrific. So how do I do um, what about parking? I guess how easy is it to to get to those services in that building? Oh, go ahead. Well, yeah, sure. Um, if Tyson were here, he would tell you that we're we're working very <laughs> Tyson, hard. Tyson, you're not here, but we're thinking <laughs> we're of thinking you. About we're about acting you. on your behalf. <laughs> exactly. We've done a lot of planning around parking uh, for the whole campus, and that's been done in stages. So as we open our new medical office building, you'll see some new parking areas open up, especially around the front of the uh, hospital zone. So right adjacent to our lobby and. Uh, down through the medical clinics and in front of the medical office building spaces, there'll be new parking spaces very easily accessible. We also have a, a wonderful new valet program that mm. has started and um, that's providing support so that patients may, uh, who, who may have to park a little further away from our buildings, will have um, shuttle a shuttle service that can come to pick them up or just valet their cars. So. That's something to continue to watch for on our campus as it evolves. I know that was wonderful to have that opening of the veteran sponsored valet. Absolutely. How cool. And there was so much pride there and they're all in uniform. It was just fantastic. They're nice. serving our community <laughs> um, and our country. And here they are back uh, just uh, helping neighbors and, and friends uh, navigate our, our program and our system. So that's terrific. So. Um, this building is attached to the hospital, so how is it attached and what's in between that and the hospital? So the, um, the building is attached to the hospital through a connector corridor. So if you were to look at the front of the hospital, you would see our new main entrance, you'd see a building just to the 
uh, left of that, and that is our medical clinics. But there's a, a walkway and a corridor that attaches all of mm -hmm. these patient care areas. There's another connector hallway that's going to be enclosed, full of light and some beautiful spaces there to take us to the new two-story medical office mm -hmm. building. That's mm -hmm. terrific. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter which door you come in, then you can get there? Absolutely. That's right. Okay. A front door okay. or a great the medical finding. office building. <laughs> yep, front door as well. And do you see using volunteer greeting at the front of the medical office building? I know we do in front of the hospital, but do you anticipate Absolutely. some navigation when you get inside Absolutely. to help people? Wayfinding will be one of um, our top priorities okay. as we open uh, all of our new spaces to make okay. sure that uh, patients are oriented to the new space and they're able to get to where they need to be as quickly as we can get them there. And as you enter the front entrance of the medical office building, mm -hmm. we've created some spaces as well for a volunteer station. Mm -hmm. So they'll be front and center and ready to greet everyone, just as they are in our main lobby oh, that's at great. The, the front of the hospital. That's great. Mm -hmm. So any plans for the second floor um, of that building? You've talked about the first floor, orthopedics, mm -hmm. urgent care, primary care. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The second floor is shelled in space. Um, and so we are doing a lot of planning right now together to think about what will be the best, the best thing to move forward. And as we have our vision for primary care, urgent care, orthopedics, would it be um, the, the best and ultimate space to have uh, rehab services there mm -hmm. potentially and our mm -hmm. lifestyle medicine program so that mm -hmm. we can connect all those dots. But we're in planning phases yeah. and uh, have a little bit more work to do. But right now it's empty space and a great, great opportunity to do some planning. We can imagine, though, that it'll be a continued theme of integration and standardization yeah. of our services so that what you need to access in your community can be done in one convenient space. Right. I, I love that, that standardization, um, reducing variation and duplication, um, also getting that access at front and center, that ease of access, mm -hmm. but the flexibility of your space to uh, move as your patient volumes change, you can adapt to that. So I think that's uh, really cool. Exactly. Is there, with the urgent care in the building, um, in the building, um, is, is that have anything to do with the emergency department? Do you see patients flowing in a, in a different way or putting that up front, making sure that patients know that urgent care is up front and that's another option so they don't have to go to the emergency department if their primary care is not available? Absolutely. It's an opportunity for us to continue to educate um, our community. The emergency department is there 24-7 for um, real life emergencies and we know that um, that sometimes folks are visiting the emergency department who who may be better served, as Amy says, right place, right time, right provider uh, in urgent care or primary care. So mm -hmm. um, we are building some systems now to think about how we can have someone or some people to be able to help our patients get to the right spot uh, for care. So that's in the works as well. Um, whether it's another provider uh, helping us in the emergency department to do some initial screenings and then say, hey, we've got some spaces open in primary care or urgent care. This might be a better place for you to, to be idea. seen. So um, again, a lot of education would be involved as well because um, there's new patterns, you know, even around the campus we have to start <laughs> to navigate. So right. we'll, we'll try and help with that as well. That's great. And over yeah. the years, we've been challenged with access to primary care. Um, yes. We've talked at, about that at length. And it is our responsibility as a health system to advance the way that we're offering our services to make sure that that yeah. right care is available to them at the time that they need that. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yes, definitely. So that uh, medical office building, is there a timing of completion of that mm. building? I know that's the one that stands out sort of the most, and I think people mm. are curious of... Yeah. When is that going to be open? Absolutely. Well, you drive by Fairfield Street every day and you see something new happening with that exactly. building every, every minute. So it's advancing on schedule. We're aiming towards the summer, uh, potentially uh, July, August time frame for mm -hmm. uh, those spaces to be finished and ready to, to be uh, opened. So we'll talk more about that um, as we nail down the final timelines. But think about the summertime for that opening. That's terrific. Now, uh, I know with the um, progressive care unit, we don't have time to talk about that, but mm -hmm. that's, uh, and we're opening up a new section, 
soon, but then the renovation of the existing space, and that will complete the project. And so when do we think the full project will be complete and people will be enjoying um, a grand opening of all the spaces as they've come online? The um, second phase of our um, progressive care unit renovations will begin very soon in the ne within the next month and uh, actually weeks. Uh, that will take about six months to complete. So okay. by uh, October, November timeframe, we will be planning the grand opening for all of our, our campus spaces. Exciting to have been part of the vision, right, in the direction and, and now to see it come to fruition, it's, uh, it's beautiful and to serve our community in a better way. So well, we feel very, very <laughs> delighted and, and lucky to be part of this project. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you both for leading this project and sharing your energy. And, and um, it's an understatement how much work you are doing to bring these programs together in the best interest of our patient care, the right care at the right place and the right time. Love that. So thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you, Thank Jill. you, Jill. Yeah, it's been fun. I'm sure you'll be back. <laughs> and this is Jill Breyer Bowen, CEO of Northwestern Medical Center, and you're a host of the Health Beat Show. It is wonderful to see this campus taking a new shape so we can provide exceptional care for the many years to come. Thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm.